What is the best way to treat chronic ear infections? Often, children undergo surgery to place tubes inside their ears. But a new study by researchers here in Pittsburgh says the procedure may not be the best option. KDKA Health Editor Dr. Maria Simbra reports. Parker Womeldorf had ear tubes placed because of recurrent ear infections. He had his first ear infection, went through the normal treatment, and at every follow-up, he had had an ear infection. These tubes require surgery, which carries the tiny risk of anesthesia, scarring, and ripping. You don't want your child to go through any sort of procedure at all. The tube goes through a small hole the doctor makes in the child's eardrum. This allows fluid from the middle ear to drain. The tube works by ventilating, by doing the job that the eustachian tube, the tube that connects the middle ear with the back of the throat, does, which is bringing air into the middle ear. Research to support tubes comes from an era before vaccines to prevent ear infections. Now, a study from the University of Pittsburgh shows that when it comes to preventing recurrent ear infections in kids six months to three years old, there's no difference between tubes and antibiotics. 250 children enrolled in this study, most of them in the Pittsburgh region. Half of them got tubes, the other half antibiotics. With two years of follow-up, there was no difference in how often or how bad the ear infections were. These are very hard studies to do. This is the largest that I am aware of. The ones treated with medicine developed infections two months earlier in the study than the ones who got tubes, so they were prescribed more antibiotics. This raises a concern for antibiotic-resistant germs. If they are left with a resistant bacteria, the next year infection is going to be harder to treat. That is, he won't rush to tubes unless a child is having very frequent ear infections. For Parker, with nine courses of antibiotics in five months, tubes were appropriate. Having said so, changing guidelines, changing practice is a hard task. And we know that many times it takes up to 10 years to change uh, what people do in treatment. Uh, I'm going to change what I do. It was really like five months, almost five months straight of just infections nonstop. So we have had zero infection. We have had zero issues since we got them. A relief for Heather. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA News.